New details come to light over the shooting death of a California police officer. One America's Guillermo Mijares has more on the bizarre history of the shooter. A California police department is honoring a fallen rookie as new details about her killer are revealed. She was a rising star in the department and I've known her for a couple of years and she started as a part-time employee volunteer um, and I can tell you that I haven't seen anybody work harder in a, in a part-time capacity and be more motivated to be a police officer than Natalie. Davis police released a note over the weekend they said was written by Natalie Corona's alleged shooter who killed himself Thursday night after the fatal incident. They say Kevin Douglas Limbaugh claimed in the note police hit him with ultrasonic waves for years. The one paragraph note was found at the 48 year old's rental property along with two guns now registered to him in a home just a block away from the shooting. He claimed the ultrasonic waves are meant to keep dogs from barking but affect his highly sensitive inner ear. Limbaugh said he had notified the FBI and internal affairs about his situation but he could quote no longer live like this. Police have still not revealed a motive for the ambush shooting of the 22 year old with two semi-automatic hands guns while she investigated a car incident. While he reached Corona on a bicycle, he reportedly left the scene on foot and calmly talked to his roommate. He even watched officers respond to the incident from his yard and only threatened more officers after they connected a backpack he left at the scene to his residence. Meantime, a candlelight vigil was held for Corona, where the department and other locals grieved over the first officer they have lost in the line of duty since 1959. I'm the mother of a police officer, and we live with this fear every day, and so I couldn't ignore what was the pain they're feeling today, so I just had to stop by and pay my respects. Reports say that Limbaugh had already been charged in a battery case in the fall of 2018 after he had assaulted someone at a Northern California casino. Months after the incident, he agreed to turn in an AR-15 weapon he owned at the time. Police are still searching for a motive in the case, as well as how Limbaugh got his hands on the two unregistered firearms. Guillermo Mijares, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.